Today was the new student welcome and convocation for students beginning their journeys at ECU. Over 4,500 freshmen and transfer students filed into Menji's Coliseum to kick off their academic careers before the first day of school tomorrow. WNCT's Courtney Allen reports. Today, you become a part of a history and legacy that is a beautiful thing. Sunday afternoon, new ECU students received their entering gear pin at convocation to symbolize the start of their time as an East Carolinian. It's a thing to welcome us into the school, I mean, to show our journey that we're getting ready to go through these next four years. Like, I am so excited. I'm ready. The keynote speaker this year was Lex Gallette, a world record holder and Paralympic medalist who sat in these seats as a freshman in the early 2000s. I'm a 2007 graduate of East Carolina University. I think it's really important for students to see someone that made it out of these doors. It was absolutely amazing. I mean, it's hard to believe that somebody else like comes in and they're just like, they tell us about all these things that they went through and like, I know I'm going to go through it too, so it's good to hear from someone that was experienced as well. ECU officials say the purpose of the event is to begin building traditions and get students involved early. Wanting them to know what services are available, letting them know that, hey, we're here to have fun, but we're also here to learn and to work hard. The energy of a new class coming in is nothing like it. The new students say this is just the first step to a lifetime commitment of being an ECU pirate. I think it was just kind of like bringing us together and bringing like the whole spirit of like ECU into like one thing that we're gonna have for like the rest of our lives. I've been waiting for this for so long and I'm so happy to be here. In Greenville, Courtney Allen, nine on your side. And that ceremony lasted around 45 minutes. It wrapped up with Pirate Palooza, a pep rally over at the football field with music, food and games. Of course, this all coming before classes start tomorrow. Those begin bright and early at 8 a.m.